Hello, Namaste, welcome to the UGC's e Shala for postgraduate studies for Japanese. I am Anita Khanna and I teach Japanese language, literature, culture in Jawaharlal Nehru University. Uh, today's uh, paper's name is Introduction to Japanese Literature pre-modern Japanese literature in English and today we are going to study about style or genre of Japanese literature which is truly called style of the vernacular and has given the world a novel like The Tale of Genji. Genji Monogatari. So, let us begin with the word Monogatari. What does it mean? Mono means things and Kataru means to tell. So, tell the events or tell the happenings and it is Heian period, the period when aristocracy is at the helm of political as well as social status and happenings of those times were the most interesting, most lavish, elaborate, set in a very posh atmosphere of those times. Sure enough, Muno Kataru has developed into is the form of fiction and for the next few centuries, the Japanese prose has been preoccupied with monogatari. Why I said that it is the foremost form of Japanese native traits of literature is because we do not find any samples of monogatari, at least in the other literatures which had far reaching impact on Japanese literature, culture in its formative years. Although it is considered to be a part of Joryo Bungaku, but the representative works of Joryo Bungaku were mostly in the form of Nikki Bungaku or the women's diaries or what we call poetic diaries of Heian period. The very reason why it stands out in the history of Japanese literature is due to the work of Genji Monogatari, The Tale of Genji by a lady author Murasaki Shikibu. Yet it was the native kana which had so attracted the men and tempted them to try writing using kana, but still there was some reservation, some hesitation on the part of mainstream scholars to attempt writing in kana. Munogatari we can say is a mixture of kambun and kana and so most of the works are anonymous. For the scholars or men of letters, it was not considered appropriate to use kana. That is why in that most happening society of aristocrats and bureaucrats of the time, even the scholars were tempted to write those in vernacular. And so they used on one hand a Kambun mixed with the kana, what we call kana majiri kambun or hentai kambun and secondly they preferred to be anonymous without disclosing their identity for the sake of preserving their dignity and so we find that most of the monogatari are without the name of the writer. 
in other words the authorship is not known. Let us have a look at this large corpus of Munugatari works which could be classified into the types of Tsukuri Monogatari, the fictional tales, Setsuwa Monogatari, the discourse narratives, Uta Monogatari, the poetic tales. The poetic tales are mostly woven around a poetic sequence that is why they are called poetic tales and then on to Rikishi Monogatari which is the historical narratives and Gunki Monogatari, the war tales or the tales which has the central theme of impermanence. Let us have a look at the main features of this trend. The foremost feature of Japanese prose is that it presents the style of blending of poetry mixed with prose. In Monogatari works also this style is retained and even in fiction there are places the influence of poetry came to be so pronounced as I mentioned just now and developed into an independent style of fiction called Uttamunogatari or the poetic fiction. Uttamunogatari is a kind of prose narrative that evolves around a particular poetry sequence as found in the work of Ise Monogatari, Yamato Monogatari. The second feature is that the Monogatari derived its subject matter from the happenings in the court circles. It was blend not purely of reality but strong imagination that was unreal but still it represented the social milieu. The very blend of such elements like Chinese tradition, legends, myths, poetry historical events, aristocracy and their affairs, ostentious ceremonial lifestyle all speak for the foundation based on the existing real social developments. Here most of the Chinese legends are used in the form of quotes or allusions from the Chinese work or Chinese literature. Third feature is that the elements of religion and philosophy are omnipresent. Although it is a fiction and has strong elements of fiction, the philosophical aspect is there in some cases prominently whereas in others in a subtle way like in the form of Setsuwa we have the central theme based on some Buddhist concept like cause and effect or Inga Oho. Whereas in other works like Genji Monogatari we have the ceremonial aspect of Buddhism uh, in the form of rituals or prayers all throughout. Especially in the last 10 volumes of Genji Monogatari named Uji Jujo, the presence of Buddhism is quite pronounced. It was the Pure Land Buddhism of Jodo sect which was dominant and its ceremonial aspects were also there in the form of Kajikito in the Monogatari works. Also the parent of all Monogatari which is Takitori Monogatari, the story of a bamboo cutter is said to be adaptation of some Buddhist tale because of the divine elements which are present in the form of a fairy tale aspect like Hagoromo style and also a realistic aspect is there in the form of Nandai or Kyukon no Tami no Nandai, the difficult task in order to find or decide on a groom. 
Similarly, Genji Monogatari is full of ceremonies and concepts, also the reincarnation, evil spirits, karmic bonds as well as rituals like copying of the sutras to be offered in a temple, prayers to dispel evil, etc. So, it is not dogmatic and it just provides the background and play a major part in the development of the storyline. As I referred that the Monogatari works are mostly anonymous as in the case here also, the writers opted not to disclose their identity. The reason could be that while the scholars of the time were tempted on one hand to write fiction in order to vent out their emotions due to the popularity of Kana script, they could describe the world of their imagination and fantasize it, yet they could not do it so openly because of certain stigma attached to fiction for a scholar or a man of letters. Yet some of the scholars, those who were tempted, preferred to remain anonymous and so we find that the and we discover the from the style and expressions and the contents of the fictional works that they were written by some scholar who was well versed with Kambun and Chinese literature. Therefore, it is surmised that it's these are a work of people like Fujiwara no Kinto and alike. Also, one can emphasize this point on the basis of the expression and the style of their writing, which was not pure Kana, but it was Hentai Kambun, which is mixture of Kana, celebrity and Chinese characters. And the prose is very fine and they are written in a style of fine prose. The very trendsetter work or the parent of all fiction, Takitori Monogatari is also, the authorship is anonymous and it is attributed, although with some reservation, to Minamoto no Shitago, who was known figure and distinguished scholar and poet of the times. Another characteristics of this genre is that these works provide extensive information about the Heian society and its functioning. Although it is termed as Munogatari or fiction, it portrayed the social reality of the times especially of the court affairs, scandals and feuds and it blends them with the element of legend, myth, folklore, Chinese tradition, etc. The low status of women, the low ethical standards of aristocrats and promiscuous society of those times become a harsh reality evident from these works. The next feature we can say is that unlike the diaries that were written as a kind of personal documents, the Munogatari works were written for the readership. And considering the taste and interest of the aristocracy primarily. For example, the author of Sarashina Nikki has described the joys on receiving a copy of Genji Munogatari and having read it. In the later works like Tori Kai Baya Munogatari, all the elements of a thriller of popular fiction are present. The Tsukuri Monogatari has the two characters of Tsukuru to cook up something and tales. So, it is the pure fiction which has the works like, as I mentioned, Takitori Monogatari, the tale of Bamboo Cutter, Utsuho Monogatari, Genji Monogatari, the tale of Prince Genji and also works like Ochi Kubo Monogatari, Turikai Baya Monogatari 
etcetera. Utamunogatari is a typical Japanese genre which is a type of fiction which is based on the storyline. So, in this unique style, the plot in Utamunogatari revolves around a poetry sequence which is interspersed with the prose interludes of varying length. It showed a remarkable development because of the elaborate head notes were there in the form of kotobagaki in the earlier poems, especially of Manyoshu and Kokin Wakashu. So, these poems sequence of the anthologies, in other words, kashu in Japanese were taken and we have the monogatari like Ise monogatari, which was written in 946 and is based on a set of waka poems on Ariwara no Narihira, the central character who was a real prince. The other works include Yamato monogatari, Heicho monogatari as Utaman monogatari, as Uta monogatari. So, there were with the decline of aristocracy, we come to the next style of monogatari, which is Rekishi monogatari. As the very name suggests, it is fiction based on historical developments that were written towards the end of Heian period. Although it is not pure history, it accounts the historical facts particularly those related to the Fujiwara family who dominated the power circles during Heian period as regents or Seisho Kampaka. These narratives are also called Kagami which means the mirrors and it reflects the reality of the times. The trend of resurgence of historical works earlier prevalent in the form of Kojiki, Nihonshoki and Rikokushi is now revived although in a different context. In this style, the dialogue form is adopted and Buddhist ambience is prevalent and the very key word of impermanence or the rise and fall of the things is the key theme. The representative work of this style is Ega Monogatari written in 1028 and Okagami, the great mirror which was followed by three other mirrors and together they form Yong Kagami, the four mirrors of historical narratives. Next style is Gunki Monogatari, the war fiction. This style of fiction that centered on portraying the warfare and political chaos of the times is focused on the central theme of eulogizing the bravery and heroic deeds of the samurai class. The trend emerged towards the end of the Heian period and the ongoing struggle thereafter with the fall of aristocracy among the warrior class or the local bustlemen to struggle and seize the power. And this power struggle is portrayed in the Gunki Monogatari against the philosophical concepts of inevitable fall of every thing that flourish and reach the peak in prosperity and Mujokan, the impermanence of everything. The transient nature of everything is emphasized also by the traveling monks and therefore, we have the authorship of Gunki Monogatari also anonymous or uncertain because they were sung initially in the form of oral tradition and recited with the musical accompaniments of biva. Some of the war tales are Heike Monogatari, which tells us the rise and fall of Taira 
family and like that hogen monogatari heke monogatari